But today we are saluting um, the good people of Chicago, and often all it takes is some real confidence to make it in this world. My next guest is passionate about that, so he's made it his mission to help boys in Chicago become real gentlemen. He says it's about the simple things, just like having a pair of dress socks, and the results are pretty incredible. That's why he is today's good neighbor. Love you, Jesse. Good neighbor. <laughs> From I am a gentleman, please welcome Jermaine Anderson, y'all. <laughs> so, first of all, I love you. I was reading about this all last night, and it is just the simple things that really do and can change a person's trajectory of their life. And so, thank you for doing that and giving people opportunity. But what made you want to create I am a gentleman? Well, thank you for this opportunity. I am a gentleman was started in 2016. Wow. So my previous career, I spent a number of years as a full-time public speaker, really traveling the globe and speaking at, you know, graduations and commencement exercises, seeing young boys, primarily black and brown boys, make it to graduation day, but not really have hope for their future or believe in themselves. Oh, so we decided to create I Am A Gentleman, and 75% of the young men we serve either come from single-parent households or under-resourced communities. So we said, you know, let's help, you know, bridge this gap and help young men with some positive life skills and things that they can believe in themselves about and create I Am A Gentleman in our flagship program, which is called Polka Dot Socks. Oh my gosh, so what, I love it. I know Polka Dot Socks is my favorite <laughs> name. So why did, where did you come up with Polka Dot Socks? You know, it's a funny story, but I'll tell it there to you. There has to be a story. <laughs> it's called Polka Dot Socks. Absolutely. So there was one of our students who we are extremely proud of, Deshaun Adams, and he went through the entire program. And Deshaun, you know, made it to um, his high school graduation day we sent him off to college and we gave him this amazing trunk filled with all of the first time college student necessities yeah. so we had school supplies so bed linen yeah. etc and Deshaun said you know thank you to I am a gentleman for this amazing trunk that you guys gave me but most of all you know I'm so excited about the pair of polka dot dress socks that I received <laughs> And I said, Deshaun, why are you so excited about that? And he said, Brother Jermaine, because before now I only own sports socks. And now that I own a pair of dress socks, it makes me want to wear a pair of dress shoes and walk down a different path in life. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love that. So the socks is kind of a confidence booster. The socks was a major confidence booster, not only to yeah. Deshaun, but to all the young men. And, you know, through our program, Polka Dot Socks, we're just so excited because every Saturday morning, these young men, you know, from the neighborhoods of Chicago, not only do they get up, they show up, but they dress up. Yeah, I love oh. that. What's your go-to self-confidence booster outfit? Oh, uh, uh, first, can I just hug you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's so lovely. I have a program that I um, develop in schools, and I provide a similar uh, um, confidence booster of uh, hygiene, mm -hmm. tooth, simple things, toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, shampoo, yeah. uh, a, cha a clean change of clothes, uh, you know, among other things. I mean, there's snacks and food. And a lot of these Throw some deodorant in there. It's puberty. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I was one of these kids that um, fell through the cracks of, you know, social services and went to school with greasy hair. If, you know, we didn't always have shampoo. We didn't have a washer and dryer, so our clothes were hand-washed or not washed. Um, and it's uh, humiliating. So <clears throat> I think that boosting their confidence by, with simple things. Yes. Yeah. Toothbrush. That's amazing socks. you both do similar things, though. We do. That's, that's really we cool. Do. I love that you're doing it because you've walked that same path and you know, you know what that's like. So, a couple days ago, we got to sit in actually on one of the I Am a Gentleman sessions, so y'all check it out. Today, we are at the Chicago Police Headquarters and we are so excited to introduce you to 39 of the finest young men in the city of Chicago. How's everybody doing this morning? Good. Today we are going to talk about image and grooming. We are going to talk about developing self-esteem and self-respect. The young men today will be learning life skills that they can use beyond the classroom to equip them to become productive citizens in their communities. I'm very excited about learning all these lessons because it's going to make me be more successful in life. What are some ways that you would try to help make your community safer? What is the one thing you would do differently? I'm going to make sure that when I leave the house, I'm going to dress to make a statement. I've been coming to this program for a year now. I think it's important because when you go to job interviews, you have to present yourself. Nobody can tell you how to feel. Nobody can tell you what you should feel. 
I've seen with, with no equivocation, I have seen the changes that happen with young people when they find that there's a safe space to speak their mind. It, it just transforms everything. What I learned today is to listen to your dreams. And I learned that it's important to present yourself very well wherever you go. I learned that we shouldn't judge the book by its cover. It has been such an amazing day, rich conversation, interactive dialogue. Everyone say, I am, I am. a gentleman. I am, I am successful. We're taking five of the young men to Pearl's Place Restaurant here in the city of Chicago to demonstrate what they learned. It's so nice to see you. Good to see you, you as well, too. indeed. These are the young men. I'm turning the boys over to Lakeisha. She's gonna give them a wonderful dining and etiquette session. Thank you so much, Keith. I'm just happy to be here to break bread with you guys and talk to you guys about just some dinner etiquette. You did such a beautiful thing by taking out my chair and allowing me to sit down. So you get an A so far. It's perfect. I love that. When you're cutting your food, just cut it just enough for you to eat at that moment. So that way you don't have too much food in your mouth. What do we do with our napkins if uh, we have to get up? You want to fold it up and then you want to put it to the left of you. My dad, he's not really around, so I've never been taught those etiquette lessons before, and this program will help me become a man. These things are not just something you will learn for today, you'll be doing this for the rest of your life. I always tell these young boys, it's not how you start in life, it's always how you finish. It's been a pleasure, you guys. Thank you so much. You. I'm excited about my future because of this program. I feel like I'm ready for success. So we actually have a graduate of the mentoring program with us. Everybody say hello to Isaiah. So, Isaiah, how did you end up, okay, shoes, I just saw your shoes. You look nice. Thank you, thank All right, you. I actually have similar polka dot socks as well. But um, <laughs> how did you end up in the mentoring program, I Am A Gentleman? So, my mother, she told me about a program that was made for um, young black kids on the south side of Chicago that wanted to be a gentleman and didn't exactly have that necessary father figure in their life. Yeah. So, I was like, all right. Okay, what, what's, when is it? She was like, 8 a.m., Saturday at Foley Station. I was like, no. <laughs> no. You're like, eight no. Eight, no, I, I stayed from school 8 to 8. No, it's not happening. So I, she kept bugging me about it. I was reluctantly, I joined it. And the first lesson, because I thought I was a gentleman, first lesson was how to tie a tie. And boy, was I embarrassed. Uh, I didn't know how to actually tie a tie. And I was embarrassed to tell Jermaine about it. And he was like, you know what, son? Just come here. Let me show you. And he showed me how to tie a tie. He taught me how to iron shirts. He taught me how to fold clothes. Taught me how to groom, as you can see. Yeah, and, as you can see. And the biggest <laughs> lesson. That's the attitude. I love her. It's amazing. And, and the biggest lesson he taught the whole class was how to respect women in South Side Chicago. We don't see that too often. We see more disrespect than respect. Yeah. And that was like the biggest lesson that stuck with me. And. That's all right, it means something. That's what, that's what tears mean. It means something. And with all those lessons, uh, I end up becoming the most outstanding student in the class. Wow. And I became the most outstanding student, and now I sit here today with my mentor, Kelly Clarkson. I love it! <laughs> it's like, I'm really love it. Yeah. You want to say after being in this program, like I mean, it probably made a profound difference in your life. Anything you want to say to Jermaine? You have to say something. Yes, I do. <laughs> you know what? I'm about to reach for it for myself, man. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm like I'm dying over here. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's all right. You take your time. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, first of all, okay, you take a minute because isn't it amazing? Like, people look at that and go, oh, well, just etiquette and manners at the table, or oh, how to tie a tie. They think of that as such a simple thing. But look what it does to people. It changes their life. It makes them feel more confident. It makes them feel like they can be successful. They can literally be anything they want to do and achieve it. Isn't that cool that you're a part of that, man? You know, it's you, amazing, amazing just being, you know, being given the task of helping transform lives. Yeah. And especially lives that were neglected and that were overlooked for so long. It's a humbling thing just to know that you've made a small difference and a small impact for one young man's life. Yeah, I mean, I'm a young lady, but I, 
I mean, I didn't have a, a daddy either. I didn't have anybody teaching me that either. So I, I get the gravity of that, and I get why you're so emotional about it. And sharing the emotion, being able to, to let it out, I think that, I mean, I come from a, you know, a difficult background, and I can say that I find that that was the hardest for me in coming into myself was actually being able to cry because you just push everything out and you, and you shut down. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a, it's incredible. It's not, it's, it's actually wonderful that you're sharing this and with us. Touch. Really yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Really beautiful. Now, <clears throat> I think I'm composed now. Okay. <laughs> I would like to thank you, Jermaine, you know, for a lot. You taught me a lot of lessons that, you know, you don't see in a classroom setting every day. Those lessons are actually, like, really important life lessons. And as a student, you know, now at Hampton University, I felt more prepared than I probably would have been if I didn't take the class. You taught me so much how to be a gentleman, and people noticed that in my school. They was like, this kid, he's from Chicago, but he doesn't act like it. And I was always had to explain to them I was part of a program called I Am a Gentleman. And I wear those letters, I wear that meaning by me every day. This polka dot white tie means a lot to me, you know? <laughs> Made me feel like, you know, uh, no matter the circumstances, at any point in your life, your life can turn around for the better. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> So there are many other young gentlemen who want to share their experience, and we have some current mentees back in Chicago with our good friend, Leanne Trotter. Let's check back in with them right now. Leanne, hi again. Hi. So, Leanne, you have hey a few here, students who'd like to tell us about their experiences, right? That's right, I do, I do. Hello, Kelly. My name is Kimari. I'm in seventh grade, and I am a current member of I Am A Gentleman. I started when my friends told me about it, and I really thought it was cool, so I joined. One thing that I learned about it is that it's very hard to learn how to be a gentleman. Another thing that I learned about it was from a previous session where the police officers came, and I learned that I could do more things for my community. One thing I want to do for my community is raise money for foster homes. Wow. I want to thank Brother Jermaine for helping me out and believing in for me. And I want to thank him for that. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who do we have here? Hello, Kelly. My name is Jaquilion. I'm a junior in high school. My favorite lesson from Saturday, we were discussing our dreams and goals. I didn't know it was okay to fail when you're on your path to reaching your goal. I actually would get discouraged when trying to reach my goals and I didn't want to do it anymore. But now it just makes me want to work harder. Um, I Am A Gentleman has impacted my life a lot. Hopefully I'll be able to take over and take Jermaine's spot. Uh, one <laughs> and continue to impact young men's lives as it impacted mine. Oh, that's amazing. Y'all are some great young men. Wow. I mean, Jermaine, seeing all these boys transform into young men, I mean, this must be so gratifying. You know, it is so gratifying, so amazing. You know, we started in 2016, and to date, you know, more than 4,300 young men have been in touch and impacted by I Am A Gentleman Incorporated. Wow. Oh, my God. Hey, Shania, we actually, we talked about your program, Shania Kids Can, earlier. So what's one of your more, like, your, the moments that you feel like really success has come out of it? What's one of your most proudest moments? We have one child that um, just didn't speak. And after just a few months in the program, she, and, and when I visited the school, she, she stood up and uh, spoke for the class. Wow. So uh, I see this with my kids all the time. Their self-expression just changes very rapidly. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.